everybody what's up how you guys doing today I'm going to share with you my empties and of course you are going to see repeats but I always like to go through and give mini reviews on everything even if I've shown you some of the things in the past so I'm gonna show you my empties and there aren't that many just because I just recently did an empties video not too long ago but I'm also gonna show you guys some stuff that I just want to get rid of out of my collection just stuff that I never used stuff that I maybe just swatched a few times and I never ended up using it just because I didn't like the colors or because the formula like just because I didn't like them and so I'm I guess I'm just gonna call this video empties and spring cleaning or spring cleaning and empties like I don't know but it's just basically kind of like those two things put together anyway let's get on with the empties because we should probably do that since we're filming an empties video but first things first this actually isn't an empty I just wanted to talk about it and this is the box it came in I bought this Remington keratin therapy curling wand this is what I used to curl my hair now and it works so much better than traditional curling irons because the irons have that clamp and most of the time my hair is kind of medium to thin texture most of the time that little clamp kind of crimps my hair and makes my hair look fugly I mean let's just keep it I'm gonna keep it PG maybe that words PG 13 I don't know this one is so amazing I got it on clearance at Target for $20 so you need to go get down to Target and check out this keratin therapy wand curling wand by Remington and this is exactly what it looks like I think the barrel is one inch yeah one inch so technically not an empty I just kept the box and I wanted to mention it so yeah Okay, now we're going to talk all about hair care products because I got so many hair care products I used up over the past few months. First one is this Aussie 3-Minute Moist Deep Conditioning Mask. Oh my gosh, you know, this is like my thing. I love this mask. I've been using it for years, probably like more than five years now, and it works just so well with my hair, and it really conditions. I love to use this once a week to keep my hair kind of, you know, soft and shiny and just manageable. That's what I like to use it for. You, s you put it on on your hair after you wash it of course and you leave it on for three minutes or more if you want to I do it all the time and once you rinse it out and once you get out of the shower like you can feel your hair feels softer like right after you use it and even the next few days after I use it my hair gets nice it just feels so nice and manageable and I love the way that this smells this moist their shampoos and conditioners the moist line they smell so delicious like just deliciously fabulous That's that's the only way I can describe it. Those two words put together. I can't like I can't really even describe what it smells like because I've never smelled anything like this before. If Aussie were to discontinue this mask, I would literally I would go down to Australia the first flight and even though I'm terrified of airplanes, first flight I'd get on it, go to Australia and I would just start like a riot just because I wouldn't really start to write it, but I like go to their office and I would like write them the angriest letter. Next up are the Suave Almond and Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioners. Now I bought these because they were on sale for like $3.50. Both of these together were $3.50 at Target and I thought it was such a good deal. I never tried these before. I ended up liking them. I do like them, but I don't think I would repurchase them at full price just because I did get a lot of color wash out with this. Like it really stripped the color out of my hair. One thing I can say good about these is that I really loved the almond and shea butter smell. It really does smell like shea butter and almond combined, which is a fantastic combination. Like, I love both of those things. And um, I, I did feel like it moisturized my hair, but it didn't keep it like feeling softer or anything. So I, I'm not too, I'm not a huge fan of these. I probably wouldn't repurchase these. Next up are my favorite Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner. They are the long-term relationship and they are made with pomegranate and raspberry silk extracts. And it's meant to, you know, for like long hair, if you have a lot of hair, um, to keep it healthy and strong. And I really like this formula. I do feel like my hair looks silky after I use it I, I feel like it is moisturizing and it does keep my hair looking silky but I don't it does kind of wash out my color once again and I know herbal essences products tend to do that for a lot of people so that's my only downside about it but I do really like the way that the scent lasts in my hair because I love how they smell they smell just so delicious like 
like raspberries like it really just smells just like fresh raspberries and I love that about this so I would repurchase these I have more herbal essences shampoo conditioner this is the last one though I promise this is the sleeker the butter shampoo and conditioner this is a newer scent I really liked the shampoo I felt like this cleansed my hair very well this was supposed to give you smooth hair in one wash and I did really like the shampoo I felt like this was hydrating and very just silky like it really did moisturize just as well as my red one my long-term relationship one but the conditioner I didn't even end up finishing this because the conditioner was just like greasy like it just did not it just did not work with my hair the texture of this conditioner was just really gunky that looks so gross but I have to show you guys like check I don't know if you can tell just from looking at it but this conditioner was just like nasty and just really thick but not in a good way like it was thick but at the same time it kind of just made my hair look greasy so that's it for hair care the rest is ma mainly um, skin care and just a little bit of makeup so first thing is this Johnson's baby shampoo now you can use this as a body wash if you want to but I used to use it for cleansing my makeup brushes and it took me forever to use up this bottle because you only need a little bit and I would say this is a good way to clean your brushes but there's an even better soap out there it's the Dr. Bronner's pure Castile liquid soap I love it so much and that's all I use now because it just gets out the pigment so easily and this Johnson's baby shampoo I mean it does a good job for the price because you can get this big huge bottle for like two dollars so I do recommend this like if you're just starting out or something because this you know this will do you well so I would repurchase this just because it is a good option if you don't have some if you don't want to use like an expensive brush cleaner I used up another bottle of the Aveeno positively radiant daily moisturizing lotion you guys know this is my favorite drugstore lotion for my body because it is very gentle and it works very well at keeping my skin moisturized throughout the day I have eczema and I also have very dry skin on top of that so I'm constantly battling dryness so yes I would repurchase this I have been for years and years like my whole life I love this stuff so much it's amazing I used up another one of these clear complexion daily cleansing pads this comes with 28 self foaming wipes I love this stuff because it's a little like cotton um, pad but it's pre-soaked it's actually kind of wet I love these things for cleansing my skin you can use it instead of a face wash if you want I like to use it after I have removed my makeup and um, I use a face wash anyway but I'd like to use this on top of that sometimes just to really make sure I have all of my makeup removed and also just to make sure that I really did get a thorough cleansing on my skin and um, I have a I'm really strict when it comes to getting makeup off because I'm crazy and I don't like sleeping I can't sleep unless all of my makeup is off so I like to use this um, just kind of like as a makeup remover and a face wash that's what it is it's like a combo kind of product I used up another Gillette satin care shaving cream this was the ultra sensitive one I think I've uh, mentioned this in an empties video before so this was pretty good but I did feel like it kind of had a scent to it like I know that fragrance free and unscented are two different things so sometimes if there's no fragrance there's still a scent because I guess technically there are two different things and I don't know so I don't feel like it was unscented because it kind of smelled like like men's shaving cream a little bit so I don't I mean it didn't really it wasn't any noticeable like I didn't feel like this was anything special really so I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because I usually get the one with Olay or the sensitive skin one I don't know like this one definitely had a scent to it so it was weird of course I have some Neutrogena deep clean face wash to show you guys I use one of these a month I've been using this face wash for about a year now and I haven't been able to stop ever since just because Ever since I started using it, I noticed a huge difference in my skin. I rarely ever have a pimple anymore, and um, even though my skin is dry, even though this says it's for normal skin, I love this stuff. It's great. It's not too strong. It does have a scent to it, but it doesn't burn my eyes if I get it in my eyes. It doesn't hurt my sensitive skin at all, and it really, it can remove makeup, and I just feel like it cleanses my skin very nicely, and I've just noticed a big difference in my complexion. Like I said, I don't really break out anymore, and I feel like it's all because of this because it's just a really great face wash so I have repurchased this so many times and you guys have heard me talk about it in like almost em every empties video I went through another bottle of this Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover this is my favorite eye makeup remover it does not sting my eyes it gets everything off even waterproof mascara eyeliner I like to use this um, even for removing stains like I ha if I swatch like stains or lipsticks on my hands and if they don't come off with makeup wipes I'll use this it just does a great job it's a really nice makeup 
makeup remover. It's like $5 and I've repurchased this like countless times. I use pretty much like one bottle every every like two months or so. It's It lasts me a while and it's really good stuff. Now for makeup wipes. I used up two packs of my favorite Neutrogena makeup wipes. These are the cleansing towelettes and they are really soft cloths. You get 25 in one pack and I just really like these cloths because they're soft and they really, they're nice and wet and I like that because it really does have a lot of um, remover on it and I like to just wet my face and then put the wipe all over. It removes everything just like no problem, no tugging at all and it does get eye makeup uh, off very easily but I still like to just go back and make sure with a cotton pad that I got everything. But these are the best makeup wipes I have ever used. They are my favorite like over MAC. I love these. I also tried these deep clean makeup wipes from Neutrogena and they are oil free. They're supposed to get away dirt and um, makeup as well, so it's supposed to cleanse your face as well as remove makeup. I did not like these at all, and it's funny because I love a lot of the products from the Deep Clean line, but this was just not one of them. It really stung my skin. Like, I don't know what's in here, but it was way too strong for me. It says it's supposed to unclog your pores, like leave your skin thoroughly cleanse without residue like it says there's no need to rinse after you use these but they made my skin feel like it didn't even remove makeup that well at all so I didn't feel like it left my skin cleanse it was just I just did not I didn't live up to the claims I didn't like these at all and my last makeup wipes are from Target they are the up and up cleansing towelettes these are the ones that you compare to the Neutrogena ones they're like three bucks you get 25 wipes and these work very well to remove makeup on your face but I really like to keep them on my vanity just for when I'm doing my makeup or for when I'm doing videos, I like to have these right by my side to remove all my swatches. That's what I mainly use them for, but they are good for your face makeup as well, so I would highly recommend these. I actually do have one more hair care product. I didn't see it. It was at the bottom. It's this little small can of Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It's supposed to absorb oil in your hair and clean without water, light matte finish. And I really did enjoy it, but it had a very strong kind of clean scent. It didn't smell clean to me, though. I I don't know what it smelled like it was kind of like just like a really musky kind of baby powder you kind of smell and I, I like musk but I don't like baby powder so maybe that's why I didn't like how this smelled but other than that it did really absorb the oil in my hair but it kind of left a little bit of a white cast and for someone with black hair that is just a no-no so maybe if you have light like blonde or light brown hair this might work for you now my last empties are all makeup and um, first up is this NYX eyebrow cake powder it's just a powder it comes with a little wax too but I didn't really like to use the wax because it's a little too thick but I really liked this deep brown shade to fill in my brows with this was when I was only using powder and this really deep brown was just a perfect shade for me because I like cool tone deep browns to fill in my um, eyebrows with. I really like the deep brown shade in here. This was the dark brown, the O2. So if you have um, dark brown hair or black hair, dark brown is a pretty good match. This this one right here. And you can combine the two too. I used to do that a little bit, but I really did just, I hit pan on that dark brown. Then of course I have a Lipsil lip balm. This is my all time favorite lip balm. I am going to buy like five right now because they're on sale at Walgreens for a dollar each and you guys have just heard me rave about this in a lot of my videos. The formula is not too thick. It actually feels very light. It absorbs into my lips. It doesn't look greasy and it leaves a really nice light kind of minty scent like that lingers and I, I really like that about it. I have repurchased so many tubes of this. I have like 10 backups. For Christmas my uncle, one of my uncles, he bought me like 20 of these because he knows I love them and like every, I know all you guys know I love this but in case you didn't know Lipsol is my favorite lip balm and um, it is just so amazing. A lot of you guys have told me that you've tried it because of me and that you all love it too and it's just really good stuff. Like you got to give it a try if you haven't already. And last but not least are my duo lash glues now this one isn't empty but it's just old so I gotta throw it out but um, it's this is the clear one which I do really like I actually like the clear better than the dark tone one because the dark tone one this one is really black but the new dark tone I feel like it's not as black as this one like this old tube dries to a black finish but the newer ones that I've been buying they've been drying to like a dark gray and I'm like what the heck it says that it's gonna be black you know and it just makes me mad so I don't get this I don't buy this one anymore I, I only buy the clear one now so that's it for my empties and a lot of those were products that were favorites of mine and I'm sure that a lot of you have heard me talk about those products before but I just like to mention them again just for those of you who have never seen my empties videos now I'm gonna show you some products that I just want to get 
get rid of because, you know, it's spring. I gotta do some spring cleaning. So I put them all in this little bin that I got at Target on clearance for like 4 or $5. And um, some of these are like brand new products. So they're actually all lip products. And I have a lot of lip products and I just don't need these because they're most of them are brand new. And some of them are doubles that I just bought doubles of on accident. Some of them are just things that aren't my shade. So first thing is actually unopened. And it's this Jordana Sweet and Shiny Flavored Lip Gloss in Rainbow Sherbert. I actually bought a double of this. I have this. So I just thought my cousin would like it because it's really cute and rainbow lip gloss. Like who wouldn't like that, right? So there's that. Then I have this um, Maybelline Super Stay. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but I bought it brand new on clearance. And so it's just a really pretty red shade. I actually have never used it. And then the other side is the lip balm that you put over it that makes it like kiss proof and like waterproof. Next is a Nivea Kiss of Shimmer Lip Balm. This is unopened. This is still in the packaging. This probably came with something I bought and I don't like shimmer, so I just never opened it. And I know my little cousin loves shimmery everything, so she's gonna love this. And I also have some lip gloss that are just not my shades that I just swatched and like never wore again and somehow I ended up not being able to return them or what have you like I don't even know so the first gloss is this essence triple XL shine lip gloss this is just a nude lip gloss and I don't even know what possessed me to buy this because it's like I don't even wear colors like this this one is from Imani organics I was sent this lip gloss a while ago and I just never really caught on to the color the formula is really nice and hydrating this is an online um, cosmetics company I believe. This is in the shade Name Dropper. Then I have a bunch of these e.l.f. Hypershine glosses and liquid lipsticks and the liquid lipsticks are basically like lip glosses like they're not even liquid lipsticks and I've just accumulated these like recently I've been making a lot of e.l.f. orders and um, when they're like sometimes they're on sale for like 40 cents so I'll just buy a bunch because I know I'll give them away to my little cousins and stuff and um, yeah so I just have a bunch of them that I bought. Basically these are all just backups that I'm never going to get around to using. So there's that, those e.l.f. Hypershine glosses. I also have some Wet n Wild Mega Slick lip glosses. These are like, I believe, a dollar or two full price, but these are basically just clear lip glosses, and I don't have a use for clear lip gloss. I just don't. I, I just wear lip balm. I never really wear clear gloss. I have these Essence lipsticks, and I just never really caught on to these. I know that a lot of people like them because they're only like $3.00. But most of them are just like really shimmery and I don't wear shimmer so I'll never really wear these and I just don't have a use for them in my collection. I also have these Jordana Lip Out Loud lip glosses and I think I bought these because they were like on super clearance for like 50 cents each or something crazy. This is the shade BFF, this hot pink one, and then this red one is called XOXO. And I don't know, they just kind of smell like really fruity strawberry watermelon. Like they're kind of like little girly kind of lip glosses. And I don't even think I use these just because they're kind of sheer. And I just don't really have like, I just don't have a purpose for them. Like I don't know how they ended up in my collection. So yeah, I don't, I'm not going to use those. Elf dollar lipsticks. I don't even like these at all. Like these I'm probably just going to throw away because I'd feel bad giving them to anybody. Just because they're so drying. I think this was one of the first shades I bought. It's called Flirtatious. The pack packaging is super cheap like some of them are really hard to twist up it just looks kind of messy and cheap in the tube and they smell like like they just smell cheap like I hate the way they smell and I never even use this see it's like because I used one and I hated it so much so I never used the others so that's everything for this video and I just thought that it would be kind of fun to throw in the spring cleaning stuff because you guys have asked me to do a spring cleaning kind of video and I didn't want to do like a whole video on it just because I didn't have that many things to get rid of and it's because I all year long I get rid of things that are just old or that I don't like because I'll give them away to people you know that I know in real life like my best friend or my mom or my cousins or you know just people in my family so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know any questions or comments you may have um, let me know if you do spring cleaning or if that's just kind of like a YouTube thing because I don't know I, I don't really know that many people who spring clean in real life but I'm a very clean person like I I clean my room like every day and like I can't have dirty makeup brushes like for too long I clean my makeup brushes like constantly and I just really like my area to be clean so um yeah I'm pretty much clean all year round so that's it for this empty spring cleaning video I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you guys are cleaning out because it's always fun to hear about old makeup I think it is so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always thank you so much for watching